<laughs> oh, welcome, oh, welcome. It is the day. <laughs> okay. Tuesday. It is a wonderful day to be in this day. So, hello. Oh, my goodness. Da, 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 da. Okay, I know what I'm going to write. I'm like, what am I writing? I know what I'm going to write. I hope your day is going well so far. What have you, what can you commend yourself on so far today? What's a win? I've had a very just active mind day today. Lots of little speeches. Lots of little speeches going on. Ooh, I know exactly what we are gonna listen to. We're gonna get that energy going. It is Scorpio season. We love a Scorpio season. Like, this is a great energy to be in. Great energy to, oh my goodness, truly transform your life. Truly have what it is that you desire and what you want love yourself enough to really submerge into this energy and allow it to happen this is getting on my nerves and so oh what is happening oh my goodness <laughs> so this is um a just great time to transform and just <clears throat> I'm trying to choose music and the the titles are just cracking me up. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my. So just feel into how you are feeling right now. morning so this meditation is going to be good for me very active mind morning and so this meditation is going to be good and I hope that this video or this message this meditation time finds you at a time that is just so aligned and in a place where you are ready to receive or you are ready to pause or you are ready to take the moment with yourself and truly just allow yourself to be. Allow yourself to feel. Feel the motors within your body, within your, your machine of a body. That your soul gets to inhabit while you're here. Take a moment to feel them, feel her, feel him. And just breathe. Breathe. You're gonna feel this flucker, is flucker a word? This flutter through your vessel, up through your throat, through your jaw, through your nose, and behind your eyes, into your mind and brain, and out through your crown. As you release any and all things that are no longer serving you in this moment. <sighs> oh 
whatever and wherever this moment may be. Whether it be you finding this video from when you saved it, from the time you said, I know I'm going to need this. Or whether it be literally right now where you just stopped everything and you're doing this. This moment is honorable for you, for yourself. Feel the words, the vibrational match and energy of I love myself. I love myself. <laughs> oh, invite a smile as you do. <laughs> I love myself. <laughs> Feel yourself smiling. Okay, allow it to rise like a light within you. Feel your chest rise. Feel your throat align and hold it there. Oh, just like a light. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Exhale, let it out. But allow it to rise within you. <laughs> obsidian. This is an obsidian ball. Here. great for protection divine protection from anything that is not encompassed for unconditional love pure love purity nothing negative may pass this protection So, welcome to Scorpio season. <laughs> what I'm going to do, we're going to go into a meditation for a moment. And when we come back, we're going to talk about this season, about Scorpio season and what this energy means right now for us. It is always a great time to take advantage of the energies within our planets, within our systems, within the energies that make us up. And so Scorpio season is going to be a great time to integrate action and integrate whew, things within you that may be you had not seen come to light yet allow yourself to be a vessel this month and this season to finally transmute process those messages those feelings those shadows this is the time right now so we're gonna take a moment and meditate take some breathing moments to self and when we come back we are going to talk about Scorpio season and how you're going to use self-love to empower every single day of this juicy energy. <laughs> Ooh. So just take some deep breaths. Ooh. Feel your spine align nice and straight. Right now, 
like you are home. Invite some deep breaths. And release. Mm. What was that? Three, four minutes? And I'll always say this because it's so important to embody and to understand and be in alignment of the fact that three minutes a day, four minutes a day, five minutes a day to stop and breathe and feel yourself within your body, feel your soul that has integrated within this body, who has integrated with this mind of yours. All of it aligns. And as you sit and take the time to truly embody it and to truly listen, listen to your soul, beautiful soul. Listen to the darkness even, the thoughts that make your heart flutter that take you somewhere that you don't want to go. You are brave enough to do it. You can face your darkness. Because beyond it is absolute brightness. <laughs> and as humans go, there will be about a more darkness, more and more and more because we are ever changing and we are always, always evolving and bringing up those shadows so that we can transmute them into something positive, into something better for ourselves. So take this moment, take these moments to truly, truly invite that transformation because you love yourself enough to not hold yourself back anymore. You love yourself enough to take the time, even three minutes, four minutes, five minutes a day to meditate, to breathe into this vessel of yours. Because what a blessing. 
Go up and down your entire body and thank everything you can think of. Thank your ears for being able to hear. Thank your eyes for being able to see. Thank your eyebrows for being there. Thank your arm socket for holding your arm into place and allowing you to move about and do things. Thank your rib cage for harnessing your, your organs and your heart and always being there for you. Oh, gosh, with no unrest. And even if there is unrest, thank you for, for continuing to serve what it is you serve within my body. Thank you for my hips, for allowing me to walk and move and, and move around and just be. Thank you for my legs, oh my goodness for being able to walk and go wherever I need to be if I need to. Down to your knees, thank your knees, your shins, your ankles. There's so much to thank within yourself and embody within your soul that you can be grateful for and thankful for. Whew. So when you're feeling like there's nothing here to be thankful for, nothing nothing here to be grateful for stop and, and breathe and feel all of that oh thank you thank you scorpio season so as we step as we we just are dipping the toe while we're in here of Scorpio season it is about bringing up that that darkness the shadows the thoughts that you just don't really take the time to think about the ones that keep coming up and you're you're just like oh I don't want to I don't want to do that I don't want to think about that I don't want to do I don't want to face that oh my goodness stop that call yourself out stop it how many days in a row are you going to allow yourself to reach for something outside of yourself that is 100% found within once you are aware once you know that that's the thing that's holding you back you just cannot continue to keep choosing the thing that is hurting your soul the thing that's hurting your body you love yourself enough to step into the things that are going to help you okay so be still face the thoughts that come up have a pen and a pencil take some notes write them down write down the notes what comes up for you maybe you can think about it another day i mean meditation is not for journaling but if those thoughts do come up you can gracefully write them down and release allow them to just flow and go see what else comes up because <laughs> this season this scorpio season is here for that these downloads that you receive during your meditation in this time are going to be life-changing for you especially in with an eclipse and a full moon on friday and saturday no way do you take this time for granted there's no way <laughs> there's no way so the fear of getting to know yourself You're gonna face that here. <laughs> you keep coming back to my videos, to Melamine, to who I am, because this is what I embody and I empower and I'm here to initiate that within people. And proudly I step into my role of doing such. You are gonna love yourself. You are going to face the things within you that are holding you back because here's the thing the second okay let me not say second it takes time to integrate but the moment that you do take the time to bring light the things that you're keeping down things just feel 
a little lighter, a little bit lighter. And the more and more you let it out, the more and more you journal about it, you might go to just like a woman's group or some kind of speaking situation and all of a sudden you're talking about your journey you're talking about what you've been through you're talking about the darkness that you used to just push down and maybe um put a mask over with substances and it's so important that you feel into your body in this in this time and and really commend yourself for the times that you do choose journaling and you do choose meditation and you do choose going to groups and talking about the things that you intend to talk about release if you there are no groups near you create a group make some make a topic and have people get together about the topic and talk about it because the more that you release and stop giving power to those thoughts that are not serving you anymore, that are not serving, being suppressed inside of you anymore. Get them out, get them out of here. Journal, talk about it out loud by yourself. When you're alone, talk about the things that are just so hard. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you like one of the biggest transformations for me was to start talking out loud by myself. It started in the car and then um, I started just doing it at home because it's an unfiltered way to hear your thoughts and not judge them, not get in front of them, not try to put out what's best for them. You don't know. Stop. Stop trying to know everything that you know, okay? Um, you are a vessel for messages hear the message the the message you've got to listen use the blessings of the ears and the awareness the awareness here hear see feel through all of this into your life face it face it it's it may be sad to see unfortunate to see annoying to bring up again um but it's time it's time you can do it and if you find that you need help and guidance i am here i do mindfulness sessions and that includes things of this nature me asking you questions that lead you to to everything that's already within that leads you to the answers if you find it difficult to ask yourself the questions I got you. I'm here for you. We don't take this energy for granted or this time for granted. Astrology, oh my goodness, guys. It's so powerful. So, with that said, <laughs> we are having a full moon in Taurus on Saturday. It's going to be a trip, guys. It's going to be a trip because it is a eclipse as well which is just an extremely powerful energy. So anything you're going through is just gonna be magnified, um, any transformation. And so what you wanna do is you wanna look at your birth chart and you wanna see where this moon and this eclipse is um, affecting you, what house it is, okay? Because if it's house number two, it's affecting your money. If it's house number five, it's affecting your family. If it's house number 11, it's affecting your relationships, like friendships. If it's house number seven, it's affecting your relationships. Um, and maybe even money, 10th house money. Like you gotta know where it's going to affect you. And then you also have to um, make sure that you are releasing any energy that is a that is in that category like you have the rule book now you get to know what it is maybe just start writing what does um what are my emotions about the energies of the elements of the second house what are my energies about so around money or friendships or relationships and things of that nature is there anything i need to get through there are times where I'm with myself and I'll just say, do you need to talk about anything? What's going on? What are you feeling? When, it, when I'm feeling just any kind of, any kind of anxious, because I'm not an anxious person. So if I feel any of that, I'm like, all right, sit down. What are we doing? What is this? Feel it. What is it? 
what's happening breathe why do you feel this way and i will just ask myself questions until i get to the bottom of it and that is a key i've always done that so that's a big part of the sessions that i do with beautiful souls that are trying to just get to get to what it is that that's holding them back is questions questions let's go let's go let's get to the hard stuff Mm -hmm. and you are so protected and guided in this energy because with scorpio being a water sign it's you still have the emotions the feelings it's about integrating within your relationships within your society um your society the community so that you can get to um love like love energetically spread your love scorpio it's just the scorpio energy and love is just super powerful um water signs and love you just just super emotional emotional i mean you're gonna get the emotion here at the same time of the darkness so just be mindful of what does come up and be mindful of what energy you are putting forth towards others because scorpio season is also very sexual just uh, just integrating energy it just makes you want to be around people it makes you want to get out and just be in that energy but then at the same time there's this darkness of oh my gosh this is i've been going through a lot of shadow work i've been going through a lot of healing and i don't want to go out um and do anything <laughs> so it comes this hermit mode it's this hermit push and pull of i need to, i need and want to be around people i want to feel loved but get the fuck away from me <laughs> at the same time so with all of that said though when we're in the scorpio energy please please be mindful of who you're sharing your energy with it is highly important who you share and intertwine your energy with because there's no reason in this world that you should be willingly accepting dark energy within this vessel. You do so much to take care of yourself and your vessel. Do so by being careful who you allow with you, inside of you, around you, in your energy be mindful okay safe sex everybody <laughs> get a partner that okay this is just you know just a little whatever take whatever resonates and what doesn't but if you are someone that likes to hop around maybe find mine find one or two or three that are just consistent partners because it's so important that you're only allowing just the most powerful and goddess-like energy within your your energy okay i had to say that we cannot overlook the the sexual energy and tension of scorpio season of scorpio season <laughs> my goodness so yeah, super deep emotions and super intense energy. So it's going to be important to meditate. Meditate, 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 meditate every day in Scorpio season. Allow those messages in. Allow yourself to love yourself and let yourself love, okay? Get out there and love on everybody. Respectfully, mindfully, and being careful what energy you allow in you spread your love but be careful who you allow in and on <laughs> so we're gonna take some moments to just breathe into all of that that i just said
of the best, most powerful, sexiest, most transformational, enlightening, empowering Scorpio season, October, November, ever. Use this energy. Love yourself enough to use this juicy energy to receive everything you desire. Everything. Love, love, love.